and see we are having normal here but as soon as I bring my hand in front of the sensor it gets obstacle detected else normal once I bring my hand in front it gets obstacle detected so what we are doing over here is that we have a keys KY032 obstacle detection sensor and an Arduino Uno and then we have programmed it in such a way that as soon as an obstacle is detected it displays obstacle detected else it's normal simple as that hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm gonna show you how you can use an arduino uno to detect obstacles using keys ky032 module so let's get started so guys this over here is our arduino uno as you can see and this over here is the keys ky032 module as you can see it uses ir transmitter led on the right and ir receiver on the left side and at the bottom you can see uh, in the center you can see this jumper and this jumper when you connect it your enable pin automatically gets activated so you do not need this enable pin if the jumper is connected if you remove this jumper then you need to power this uh, enable pin using a 5 volt supply uh, else your uh, transmitter led will not work so if you have connected the jumper that's fine i'm going to use the jumper here so you have two potentiometer and this ic this is the ne triple five ic the potentiometer on the left side basically is for the adjustment of frequency for the ne triple five ic it is used to adjust the frequency to 38 kilohertz if you have messed up this jumper or this uh, potentiometer don't worry just bring it to the center this is the default position it should be here just use a screwdriver and bring it at this position if you have messed it up but uh, otherwise don't uh, mess it up just use it as it comes from the factory setting and on the right side this is the one you will play with this will be used to adjust the range of your obstacle detection this is basically a current limiting potentiometer so you just play with this to adjust the range of your uh, keys module its range is from 0 to 40 centimeter uh, 2 to 40 centimeter sorry 2 to 40 centimeter so that range depends upon the adjustment of this potentiometer now guys uh, let's do the wiring so you can see the four pins here the left one is the ground right is vcc then out out pin and this is a digital input output pin by default it is high so as soon as an obstacle is detected it goes low and this is the enable pin you do not need it if you are using a jumper over here if you don't have the jumper then you have to connect this to a 5 volt supply or turn it high using a gpio pin now let's do the wiring for the ground connected to the ground of your Arduino Uno like this for the VCC connected to the 5 volt pin of your Arduino Uno like this for the output pin you can use any available digital input output pin I'm going to use a pin number 7 like this in this way our connections are completed now let me introduce you to the hardware so guys this over here is our hardware as you can see so we have our Arduino here and this is the keys module I have not programmed it but I have just connected it to the Arduino uh, supplies so I can do the calibration here now see this potentiometer this is by default there you should keep it there even it was here as well you just bring it here now this is something you can call a default value for the frequency adjustment now this is a current limiting resistor now see this LED is off it means the obstacle is not detected if the obstacle is detected LED turns on now if I play with it you will see I move it here now the range has changed now it is not detecting here it that is what it does now I bring it to the lowest see it's on now because I have uh, caused the sensitivity the, the current is either too high or too low now you have to just do the adjustments here okay here it's off now hand comes in front it's detected okay now the range is way lower okay it's fine here it will detect from here now I move it here okay okay it's detected that's fine so it will detect an obstacle this far so let's do the process. this is our Arduino IDE opened up okay let it open up I click on file new sketch wait for the new sketch to open close any previous now first of all before you do anything else press ctrl s to save your work give a name I call it obstacle detection Arduino Uno you can write any name you want okay save the work okay now these two commands are by default I just remove them I don't want them this is a one time loop and this one is a forever loop now first of all we need to initialize our uh, pin on which our obstacle detection sensor is connected that is pin number seven I write pin mode input pin that is pin seven and declare it as input 
because this pin will be responsible for reading the data coming from the sensor. Now here we have to give a button state we take an uh, you can call just a integer variable to get the button I call it sensor okay I call it sensor one that's the name of the variable I write here this variable sensor one is equals to digital read which pin pin number seven okay the button is at pin number seven now what is that the pin number seven will be read and by default as I told you the pin is high so it means by default sends one this means send zero when obstacle is detected this is written in its data sheet so when an obstacle is detected the sensor will send a zero so by default it must be one so what I do is that uh, okay let's verify this first I click on upload okay it is uploading I wait okay done uploading okay oh and we should just display it on the serial monitor as well so how are we gonna see it I write here serial dot begin whatever the border you want to set for the serial port I set 9600 now here I write serial dot print print ln what it should print whatever the value of sensor is here like this now I upload the code so we will see on the serial monitor whatever the values we are getting from the pin number seven okay done uploading now just go to the tools click on the serial monitor to open it up so we are getting one here when there is no obstacle now let me zoom out and let me show you both okay let's see both the screens okay we are getting one now I will bring my hand in front to see what happens okay let me adjust it okay this is fine now you can see both so my hand comes in front let's see does this one change changes to zero or not okay now it's zero the obstacle is detected it goes zero by default it is one obstacle detected goes zero okay it goes zero as soon as the obstacle gets detected see detected zero detected zero okay now that is what is happening here now in the programming here I write if sense one double equals to zero then check okay no debouncing needed as soon as an obstacle comes in front it should just say it has been detected so we write this command serial dot print ln I write here serial dot print ln double inverted commas and inside it display obstacle detected okay now as soon as the obstacle is detected it will say obstacle detected else but it should say else else it should say we just cut this command we no longer need it I write here normal it will display normal if nothing is detected as soon as something is detected it will show obstacle detected so I just upload this code uploading okay it's uploaded now see it's showing normal by default now I bring my hand in front see obstacle detected else normal obstacle detected else it's normal as soon as I bring my hand in front it says obstacle detected normal detected normal so simple as that guys so if you have any questions you can ask me so thank you very much for your time guys we'll see you in the next video and I hope you guys learned something from this video so goodbye